Now we're all looking for the same thing when we go out to eat in the menu. We're looking for fresh food that tastes good, a wide variety, and bang for our buck. And I found all that right here at Firebird's Wood Fire Grill. Local guy Dennis Thompson opened the first Firebird's right here in Charlotte back in 2000 with a clear vision. Colorado atmosphere, Southwest flair in the menu, and plenty of drink for all. So I got a hold of my buddy Jeff Crane, who just happens to be the chef at South Park Firebirds, to give us the lowdown. Now everybody knows two of my favorite things are beef and bacon, and we got a bacon wrap filet here. Jeff's gonna show us how to put the Firebird spin on. Well, first of all, all of our steaks are aged 21 days. We cut them all in-house. We're gonna take that filet, we're gonna put our house seasoning on it, throw it on the grill, get it to the temperature you want. We got the open flames over there, it's gonna give it a great flavor. Do you use hickory and oak? Yes, we do. Hickory and oak gets that smoky flavor along with the, the flames you just can't get from the gas burning grill, you know what I mean? Right. And we're gonna take some blue cheese crumbles next. We're gonna throw it right on top of that filet. We're gonna take our homemade blue cheese cream sauce right over the top like that. We're gonna go with our port mushrooms right on top. And these are really going to finish this dish off right here. If you're looking for something light and refreshing, Firebirds has a big variety of salads. Jeff, what's your favorite? Well, I like our strawberry and shrimp salad. I just got done slicing these strawberries for us. We're going to start with our mixed greens. You got your field greens, some iceberg romaine mix. Get those fresh sliced strawberries in there. Nothing like fresh strawberries. Oh, yeah. Goat cheese. A little bit of tang. We got our spice pecans. These are actually, we roast these in house. Got a little bit of butter on them. Got some ancho chili powder and brown sugar. They're sweet. good enough to eat by themselves. A little sweet, a little heat. Yep. What's that? Next, we have our jicama. It's, uh, it's a Mexican root. Also known as yam bean. That's right. Look at right. I'm serious. It's got a good flavor. It's, um, it's kind of an earthy flavor. Kind of got the texture of apple. We use a lot more just for the texture. That's good. Um, next, we're going to go with our balsamic vinaigrette in there. And we're going to start giving it a good toss. Just need one more thing. Actually, we need those shrimp. Do you mind grabbing those for us? Yes, Chef. <laughs> All right, Jeff, I got your shrimp. I brushed them with your key lime butter. Now what? All right, perfect. Well, I got our chilled plate right here. We're just going to take this salad, pile it nice and high right there, get all those goodies out of the bottom of the bowl, right on top. Right. If you can throw those shrimp on there, we'll put four on, on the corners and then three right across the top. And this one's mine, so there we go. There okay. we go. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and eat one. Oh, that's awesome. All right, Troy, I wanna share one last dish with you. This is a side dish we have. It's our tortilla slaw. We'll start with some green cabbage, red cabbage, and shredded carrots. Yeah. Go on to some fried tortilla strips. A little texture. We got some roasted pumpkin seeds. My favorite. A little bit of chopped cilantro. Finish it off with our cilantro lime vinaigrette. You guys do this to order every time it comes every, in. Every time you got to to keep that freshness on it. Now, when most people think of slaw, they think of you know a, a bowl just full of wet mayonnaise, cabbage. You know, this is not the case. This is fresh, vibrant. This is showing what you guys are doing here. It's fresh. It's awesome. unique. It's vibrant. Some of the best stuff on the planet, man. You, you want to give it a taste? taste? Good job. Heck yeah. Awesome, man.